Aloha, Aloha. friends. We are excited because yeah. we're going to show you how to make the best sauce ever. And this recipe is really cool. I don't know if you know mm -hmm. how this came about. No, no. Well, I was on uh, a TV show and we were filming in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And I had to go to the grocery store and I don't know Spanish very well. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. I was buying stuff. And anyway, Redmond Real Salt was bringing the salt or donating the salt for the TV show. And it yeah. never showed up. Customs kept it. So here I had to make dinner for everybody and I didn't have any salt. Yeah, like, that's a problem. Hmm, it is a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So I did have bacon. And I was like, you know, if I make a really good sauce, we could probably figure something out. You yeah. Know, a good sauce with bacon, make it salty, you know, add some flavor. So I had bacon, onions, mushroom, mm -hmm. and some beef broth. And I basically made a sauce. And it was really, really good. Do not turn away. This is that you love it, don't you? Yeah. Last night we were at dinner at the best steakhouse. In Maui, if you come to Maui, do you know what it's called? Uh, Duo. Duo, yeah. Duo, it's at the it Four Seasons. Good. It's really good. It's pricey, but it's a special occasion. And we were there, and Kai's like, they should have the best sauce ever for the steaks. Yeah. This is good on eggs. It's good on steak. It's good on pork chops. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you put it on? You like to eat it plain, and I make you put it on something. Uh, I like to eat it on, like, something, maybe, like, Something more like meaty. Like pork chop. Yeah, like a pork chop, maybe. Were you listening to me? Uh, yeah. Not really? Yeah. <laughs> I just said a pork chop. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's good, it's only five ingredients. So, yeah. Get your stove top ready, let's go. Hey everyone, we are on a little safari here in Africa and I got a little friend right behind me here, eating some uh, grass and some trees. He's not a um, He's not a carnivore, uh, but if you are, it's great to keep your electrolytes up. And especially when you travel, if you keep your electrolytes up, uh, it really helps. I actually personally find I don't go number two as often if I don't bring my electrolytes on, uh, along when I travel. I'll go two or three days without. But Element is great for travel. It's easy to pack. We really like it. And uh, if you use the... If you go to drinkelement.com, oh, watch out, <laughs> slash Keto, Keto Maria, Maria, you can get a free sample pack with order. Um, so check it out, drinkelement.com slash Keto Maria, and get a free sample pack with any order. Okay, my friends, to start, you are going to dice up four slices of bacon. I'm doing a double batch because it's just that good, and you just want to cut it up, I mean, like the size pieces, half inch. And you're gonna to toss it into, I like to use my cast iron skillet when I'm making just about anything. Um, toss it on in there. And yeah, it's so good. I do suggest to make a double batch. It doesn't freeze well. However, just like it's, I always, you know me, I always have sauce in the fridge. If you haven't tried the best steak sauce ever, everybody's loving that video. There was some dude that's like, the perfect steak doesn't need sauce. And like, well, sometimes I don't have a perfect steak at home. I have a dry, you know, steak. And sometimes the cuts aren't the best that I get, but it's what it is. And so a sauce can fix just about anything. And uh, yeah, it's not just a steak sauce. It's good on everything. Um, but this is a different sauce. This is the best sauce ever, because that's what everybody said on the TV show. They're like, this is the best sauce ever. And I was like, yeah, I should probably write this recipe down, right? So I did. And what you're going to do is you're going to start cooking the bacon as soon as I have it chopped up here. That was a really fun show to be on, too. It's called Reversed. Um, I can have the link below if you want to check that out. It's, called, it's about reversing type 2 diabetes using the ketogenic diet. All right, so now don't get rid of your cutting board. We're going to turn this on, and while this sautés, I am going to start um, chopping the onion. And let's see, I should have had a spatula out. Thank you, everybody, for telling me what a spatula is, the right name for it. I said, why are the spatulas called the same thing? This and, like, the rubber kind. So that's going to sauté. Let's get the cutting board back out. I'm not too concerned about the bacon jus on the cutting board because I'm going to cook the onion. 
And if you're doing a, the regular size batch, you want a half a cup of onion. I'm doing a double one, so I'll probably use just about the whole thing. And then you also are going to chop up, slice the mushrooms. I have my, I'm using Kettle and Fire beef broth because beef broth, if you didn't know, it's hard to find beef broth without sugar, which is sad. The full recipe link will be below the video. There we go. Yeah, Duo is a really great steakhouse if you come to Maui. Um, I did a little video on like the top 10 things to do in Maui if you come here. Yesterday, oh my gosh, Kai, I forgot to tell him the coolest thing. Yeah. The whale. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Kai and Micah were snorkeling over by Molokini on the Pride of Maui, which is a boat our friends own. Takako is an amazing person. Anyway, you can sign up to go on the Pride of Maui. They take you snorkeling for the morning and they feed you breakfast and lunch. It's, it's a great time. Anyway, they're snorkeling by Molokini and all of a sudden, three whales, Kai? A mom, a baby, and an escort? Yeah. Three babies, three whales show up and they're like swimming by Mike and Kai. I mean, how, this is totally, like you can't jump in with the whales. It's totally illegal to be um, with the whales, swimming with them anyway. You can in like Tonga area, um, but in Hawaii, if you see someone jumping in the water, they will get a humongous fine. You can't do that. Um, so the fact that the whales came to swim with my children is pretty awesome. I did not go sadly, because I was not feeling well. Um, just feeling a little under the weather and I wanted to catch up with some work. Anyway, I'm totally bummed out that I didn't go. I should have went anyway. Okay, so the bacon, I am going to speed this up just so we can get to the rest of the sauce. Cooked yet. It'll continue to cook with the onions, but I'm going to add a cup of onions. I probably have a little bit more than a cup, so we'll do about that much. And I'll save the rest for maybe some chicken crust carnivore pizza tonight. And we'll keep on sauteing that. Yeah, stir it with a knife, Maria. Good job. Okay, and we're going to slice up the mushrooms while that sautés. There we go. Has anybody been to Maui? I'd love to know what you like to do here. It's really completely different. The fires, you know, Lahaina's completely gone. We used to go to Lahaina for the afternoon and kind of hang out there and have lunch and bum around, but it's, it's, they're still kind of cleaning up. So very, very sad. It's great how the community has gotten together to support them. I'm not going to add the mushrooms quite yet until the onions are soft. There we go. There's definitely a induction. I can't get the whole thing to heat up. There's definitely a hot spot. That's why I rotated it. You can see where it is. Right there. So, and I have a few options. If you don't do bacon, you could do this without bacon and saute it uh, in like salted butter, tallow lard, whatever you want. And I also am adding cream cheese to this. And if you are dairy free, you could use Kite Hill cream cheese, which is an option. And since I'm doing a double batch, I'm gonna do about uh, two cups of sliced mushrooms. They will shrink up quite a bit when you saute them. Yeah, do that, turn this up a bit. I also um, here, we haven't done it lately, but I love going to like a waterfall um, over by Hana. You don't even have to go all the way to Hana. The road to Hana is intense, people. They make t-shirts saying, I survived the road to Hana because it is really intense. Um, usually one of my kids will get sick on the way there, which is not always fun. Very twisty and windy. How many uh, one lane bridges are there? 30, 34? 54. 54 one lane bridges. So it is a long trip, even though it's not very far. 
can't go very fast, but it's super fun. I love checking out the waterfalls, but it is a rainforest on that end, so it's usually rainy, so don't be surprised. All right, I'm probably gonna rush this a little bit, but I'm gonna add the mushrooms now to get this going. And we're gonna cook these down. I'll speed this up a bit so you can see the rest of the process. Okay, my friends, I should probably show you this. Now, if you get low in like bacon fat and you can see things are starting to stick, you can see this wonderful brown bits on the bottom. This is what I do. I take the, some of the broth, deglaze that pan, and you kind of scrape up that yummy goodness, the flavor in there. So now that everything's really cooked down, the onions and mushrooms are super soft, I'm going to add since I'm doing a double batch, eight ounces of cream cheese, ideally softened if you can soften it. Room temperature, that's kind of cold, but it's all right. It will warm up and don't add the broth yet. You want to loosen the cream cheese. Otherwise, you're going to have chunks. OK, it's a little tricky that way. So I always have about 100 whisks. I love a whisk and you just kind of want to loosen that cream cheese, break it up. And if it's cold like this, it'll be a little bit harder, but it's fine. It still works. No biggie. And then since I used quite a bit of the broth, I'm going to have to add more. I'm going to want about a cup, but you could slowly add it to see how thin you want it. You can make it thicker or thinner if you want to use it as more like a, a salad dressing or something like that. It will thicken up a lot in the fridge overnight where you might have to add more broth, which is totally okay. And I was gonna jump out of my paddleboard, but the wind was picking up already this morning. And that's another thing too, people, you come to Maui, a lot of people die when they're tourists here because they do things that are unsafe, like go out on their paddleboard in the afternoon <laughs> The wind picks up in a heartbeat. Only go in the morning, um, especially if you plan on going out far. I go out maybe a mile from shore to check out the whales. And you can't, you can't approach the whales, but if they come to you, that's a whole other story. Um, but don't go out in the afternoon. Like People get taken by the wind and sadly never get found in the ocean. Be careful. Or they jump off waterfalls. Just be careful if you come here. So as you can see, it's loosening up. Kind of get it into all the goodness. You can add more cream cheese if you want to. If you want a more cheesy goodness. I might add a little bit more just because the bacon was a bit big and I added quite a bit of mushrooms. But then you're going to add, yeah, it's pretty much loose, the broth. I'm going to add a little bit at a time, whisk it in, probably turn the heat up a little bit here. And then if it needs some salt, you can certainly add salt if you want to. But again, I didn't have salt on the show. It was just the first day I was out without salt. so. That was a good thing, but I had to be pretty inventive with all the things that I made. But it worked. See? And this, see, uh, it will get so thick in the fridge overnight, but just be aware of that. When you warm it up, it'll thin out a little bit and you can always add more broth. But this is how you make the best sauce ever. Let's go see what Kai thinks of it. Okay, so today is uh, day two of our, pro, our our ultimate weight loss challenge. This would not be on it. Sorry, my friends. But I just am trying to tell you, it's a very busy day. We have a lot of meetings. Yeah. And so I just think some of you, maybe comment below if you like my like cooking tips oh. and tricks. This is one of them. I'll, I'll give them more if you want me to. Mm -hmm. um, this is the chicken crust pizza. Super, super easy to make. Very, very easy. 
And I grew up in Tombstone, in Tombstone, Wisconsin, Medford, Wisconsin, where Tombstone Pizza is from. And we always had frozen pizzas in mm -hmm. the freezer. And so this was in the freezer, right? Yeah. I said, Kai, get that out because do you know what your dad's favorite pizza topping is? Uh, mushrooms? Bacon. Bacon. He likes it bacon and I like it better than putting pepperoni on there because pepperoni usually has crap in it, junk in it, right? So yeah. um, we just put the bacon that I have left over. I had a few slices from that package and I'm just going to put this on here and that will cook when I cook the pizza uh, uh, before yeah. our meeting. Because like our meeting, like I'm exhausted afterwards. I can like barely, you know, it's a lot. Yeah. We have the ultimate weight loss meeting for an hour and then we have our platinum member meeting. Um, where you see Craig and I and we answer all of your questions and then we also have our certified keto coaching program After that, so it's a lot yeah, and I'm usually hungry lot. afterwards mm -hmm. and we're tired ready for bed. So Pizza easy keep it in the freezer Yeah, but on to Kai's taste test Kai's taste test. Let's scoop this out over here So here we have is the best sauce ever the best sauce ever Containing uh, mushrooms onions uh, I think Beef cream broth. cheese, brief broth, and that's it. Okay, let's see what you think. That's good. Is it the best sauce ever? Yeah. So good. <laughs> see, he doesn't even want it on anything. Kai, do you like bacon, yes or no? No. The best sauce ever, even with the bacon. What do you want to tell people? This had bacon in no, it. No, there's no bacon in it. I'm just teasing you. That's uh, what, I put the bacon on the pizza. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, Cook this with your was kids. really good. <laughs> Cook with your kids, my friends. Mahalo. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me and has healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out KetoMaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.